water hole. It's kind of natural. And uh, I'm pretty excited. A big jackal just came in and he circled around super wild and that shot him at 46 yards. Those things are switched on really good. And it's like our coyote. So, good way to start the morning. That's the longest shot probably ever have here in Africa. Usually this, this water hole is really big because it rained a bunch not too long ago. So, good start. All right, cool. Looks pretty good. Those things are so dang jumpy that I normally wouldn't take that kind of angle on anything else, but a jackal like that that's so small, and then he came in once and left, came back in, and I you knew he was cording towards me a little bit, and he turned, and I ended up hitting him kind of mid-body, and it came out back, but those jackals do a lot of a lot of destruction on the smaller antelope species here and birds and everything else, so it's good to get them out, and I think uh, Harry said they get about one a year. They're pretty elusive, so it looks like a dang good hit. We'll see. It's a very good shot. Bob made about a 45 yard shot. There's the blind we shot it out of. Yeah, it's a cool blind. You can sure see a lot of stuff coming in. And uh, the water hole's a little bigger and further than I was hoping for for something else. But when you get an opportunity on a jackal, you got to take it. There was nothing else around him. So one less predator is a good thing. That's money. <laughs> I'm a wreck between almost shooting those giant and yalla. Never gave me a shot. I knew something was like gonna happen good for that, but I've just been wound up for the last 20 minutes. <clears throat> and that giant sable came in. And we could tell that the and yalla were getting spooky. And uh, Harry said, no, it's the sable's coming in. No, don't get on and yalla anymore. And then that big brood of a sable that we almost got the other night, he came in, it was too dang dark to shoot, so I didn't shoot. He finally gave me a good shot, quartered away at about 25 yards. And Very good, man. And there, got through the shot process, like, uh, just calm down, pull through it, and poof, looked like it was right where I wanted it. Dang, that's a big sable. I've been dreaming about that. This is my sixth trip. I've always wanted to shoot a good one, and I finally got the sable in my dreams the right way on a ranch that's just wide open, 100,000 acres with super wild animals. Whew, what a pump. Here's the arrow. That's a new Grim Reaper Micro Hades. It's a hybrid. It's got an inch and a 16th fixed. Inch and 3 8 expandable. Counted imperfect. I thought the arrow went through deep enough to get to the other side and obviously snapped off. And here's the other part of it. So, you know, there's a little bit sticking out. They're big, tough animals. So some of the arrows snapped off inside of them, but got full penetration. Big, tough animal, but he's not going to be able to take that. We got some good blood here, so we'll just track it from here. Yeah, that placement was uh, pretty good. Very pleased with the shot. What a beautiful animal. That's amazing trying to track them on this sandy soil. There he's got it down. All we need is a little bit of blood and it came out pretty good. What a beautiful animal. Man, they, this is the most, one of the most beautiful animals in the world and definitely 
top of this in Africa. And there's so much about them that's incredible. And this is the exit, so everything, the vitals in Africa are always a little forward of our North American stuff and maybe a little lower. That's the exit, so it went about 150 yards. They're big animals, notoriously tough, but I took my time and made a good shot. And uh, here's the result. Harry, you got the best place in Africa. This is my sixth trip. You got a pretty incredible operation, but the fact that you have so much land, like 200,000 acres that you hunt total, and you, you flip-flop them on 100,000 a year, you let these animals get old, you're only bow hunting them, and the quality here is unparalleled. Thank you very much, Bob. That's a beautiful sailor, man. You can be very, very proud of yourself. Yeah, it took us four days, but uh, being patient, had, had the same one in probably a couple nights ago, and just too dark to shoot. And I didn't want to do anything other than a perfect shot. And today, when I wore us out with the Inyala, and finally this, this bad boy came in and uh, took my time and put the arrow right where it needed to be at the right angle and put him down probably 150 yards for that kind of shot. It's amazing he went that far, but uh, yeah, I'm very pleased <laughs> to say the least.